Oh. Hi guys. It is a cold winter night here on the second day of summer. Some rumor about a heat wave going on in this country on uh, Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. Uh, heading to 42 degrees here in the Finger Lakes of New York, and the little dog and I have been uh, literally head first into a septic tank today. I just noticed this shit smear on the top of my head that I've been walking around with all day. So, little dog and I have been dealing with a failing septic tank all day. It is now 10 o'clock at night. Just getting around to Today's Chronicle of the Collapse, which is uh, anybody chronicling the collapse of a planet, can simply turn on the mainstream media news right here from NBC News, just somewhere in the middle of the Rolodex of stories, this little story, just out of nowhere, uh, just out of nowhere, birds acting blind when approached dying by the hundreds scientists don't know why there you go <clears throat> hundreds of birds are dying without explanation in parts of the south and midwest wildlife experts in at least six states and Washington, D.C. have reported an increase in sick or dying birds in the past month. The most commonly afflicted birds are blue jays, grackles, and European starlings. Well, they can get rid of a few of those starlings. <clears throat> this is Kate Slankard, an avian biologist with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife. Quote, we are experiencing an unusual amount of bird mortality this year. We have yet to figure out what the problem is. The condition seems to be pretty deadly. Close quote. Symptoms include crusty or puffy eyes. Do you have crusty or puffy eyes? Crusty or puffy eyes, neurological signs of seizures, and an inability to stay balanced. Experts said the birds have been behaving as if they are blind and exhibit other abnormalities such as not flying away when people or little dogs get close said skankered, I mean slankered, quote, they'll just sit still, often kind of shaking. It's pretty safe to say that hundreds of birds in the state have had this problem. In addition to Kentucky and Washington, D.C., Ohio, Indiana, Maryland, Virginia and West Virginia have reported similar deaths, officials said. Again, getting back to uh, Ms. Slankard, quote, We're all working together as a multi-state group to try to figure out what's going on. Diagnosing these problems is complex because several rounds of lab tests must be done. The good old lab testing. Okay, what are some of the theories, and that's all they have is theories, because nobody knows what the hell is going on. Some theories about what is causing these birds to become sick and die include a widespread infectious disease, the cicada outbreak, there you go, blame it on the cicadas, and pesticides said Laura Kearns, a wildlife biologist with the Ohio Division of Wildlife. She said hundreds of birds have been found dead in her state. 
Oh God, I got another big old tick on my dog. My dog, we gotta get some. Little dog, how many ticks do you have on you? Good Lord. Oh, gross. These damn ticks, they really are gross. And of course, I just cut my fingernails. I can't grab this nasty thing. Good Lord, Sancho. Yuck. I know it. We gotta throw that. Yuck. Yeah! Anyway, my little tick magnet. Where was I? That is really gross, Sancho. All right. <clears throat> Indiana wildlife officials said there have been suspicious deaths of blue jays, robins, cardinals, and brown-headed cowbirds. James Brindle, spokesman for the state's Department of Natural Resources, said birds there in Indiana have been tested negative for avian influenza and West Nile virus. The bird specimens from Kentucky um, were sent off to the University of Georgia for testing, said Slankard. This is probably a new issue. Yep. In September, as I remember uh, reporting back in September, New Mexico wildlife experts said birds in the region were dropping dead at an alarming rate, potentially in the hundreds of thousands. Scientists were baffled by those deaths, so apparently they never figured out what uh, that big bird kill in uh, New Mexico from last fall was. Scientists were baffled by the deaths. Officials say they are they are not sure if the two events, you know, the one from last fall and the one going on right now, are related. Well, they're related to the degree that it's a, you know, it's just a sign of the end, uh, is the way they are related. <clears throat> Wildlife experts are asking the public to report any suspicious bird deaths. They also urge bird lovers to remove their bird feeders since birds often exchange germs. So if you are a bird lover, remove your bird feeder. Uh, bird feeders and baths should also be cleaned immediately with a 10% bleach solution and people should avoid handling birds. Oh, boy. Yes, little dog. Uh, can't get much more of a chronicle of the collapse than that. Uh, there's more birds just falling over dead. Uh, there still seems to be a healthy population of songbirds here at uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm up here in the Finger Lakes of New York, but I know I, I'm not imagining this. This is not just a doomer fantasy. Although there still seem to be plenty of birds here, there's there are not the same number of birds that there were this time last year. I, I'm 100% convinced of this, that uh, there, there's not the same number of birds here that there were. Uh, I don't know what happened to my kingfishers. We had a family of belted kingfishers uh, living here last year raising babies. Not one sign of uh, the kingfishers this year. Uh, this great blue heron that was hanging out uh, for the past two years. I remember him the day I bought this place. Haven't seen the great blue heron this year. Uh, what else have I? 
Who else is missing that? The Pelliated Woodpeckers, I think that I might have heard them. Don't you walk away from here, you get that tick. Yuck. Uh, I think I might have heard the Pelliated Woodpeckers have not seen a Pelliated Woodpecker. This year, this tick is trying to make its escape. Sancho is grossed out. Anyway, I gotta go. Well, I can't flush the tick down the toilet because we don't have a toilet in this house. Huh. What are we gonna do with the tick, Sancho? What are we gonna do with this tick? Yuck. Get that tick. Get that tick. Say, Papa, I don't like that tick. I don't want that, I don't want that tick around me like that. Anyway, get out there and check yourself for ticks. Someone know your hair is falling out of your body or what? It's never ending. Oh, back to the huddling over the heater. The heater, you can hear it going full blast in the background. We gotta throw another blanket on the bed. Bye, guys.